Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Time for some... I didn't get any taco mix. I gotta go to the store this week. I'm getting it. Cause, uh... Probably got enough meat for one taco. Ground beef. And no taco shells, no tortillas. I got cheese. I guess I can do keto tacos. Have you guys ever tried keto tacos? Ever tried going keto? <laughs> well, I just had a fun little experience. Open up my door to my backyard. And I swear, Superman went by. I was wrong, it was Superdog. He just went so fast, he was like, Boom! And he went chasing after I don't know what. I'm assuming a squirrel, because I had to chase him away from the windows. You ever seen that movie, uh, Secret Life of Pets, where that dog just sits there and watches the window? <laughs> yeah, that's basically what my dog just did, except he wasn't a little pug or whatever he was. I think he was a pug, right? Okay. Great movie. And large battery on the butt. I've been seeing it go around. The Apple or the iMac Pro, whatever it is, the wheels for this Mac Pro. Mac Pro, that's what it is. 700 bucks for a hunk of forged steel, a little bit of bearing, and a couple of rubber numbers that nub rubbing rubber all around it. 700 bucks. Funny thing is, a lot of people aren't really talking about them because, well, they're really not worth it in a lot of people's opinion. But advertising. Hey, look at Apple. I gotta say, that's pretty good advertising because then, oh yeah, what else has Apple got? Well, they got a $400 phone now. That's one way to compete in another market. I always thought... Why do they need high prices when other people are offering twice the product that you are? Well, you gotta give it to Apple. They got some consistency. You've heard me rant and rave, but Apple's doing it right and wrong at the same time. They've got consistency. Their stuff works from one piece to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. It's got very little change on their upgrades. But then when they come out with a totally new product, everybody's gotta got it. Gotta get it. Gotta get get. Yeah. So that was actually pretty interesting stuff watching all this. When Steve Jobs died, I gave him five years. Well, in five years they didn't die. They reinvented themselves. The thing that makes me curious next is what is Apple going to do with the processors? Well, they're going to be dropping Intel in favor of... I'm rambling about tech, and now when I think about tech, Mr. Musk, why don't you come on out to Colorado? I bet you uh, you got some great places. There's a lot of open space out here. We don't got the same regulation that they do in California, but I know why you're there because with all the regulations, you already know what to expect. And you got guys on the inside, so it's actually interesting that. Well, I feel like he's being a baby. There's another baby I know, and he runs the country like a baby. Dipshit Trump. Yep. That guy needs to get off his high horse. I will give him one thing, though. Over the past four years, he's kind of calmed down. He still shoots off his mouth, but it feels like he doesn't shoot it off as much. So, guys, get ready. I'm not going to have any live updates for you on the daily. Tomorrow I've got some Whiskey Wednesday, and then I've got some updates on the card. Did some planning this week. I want to show off some of the stuff I got. And uh, we're going to take a look at stringing up one of the hops plants because a couple of days ago, uh, it was just running up my fence and basically growing on itself, which it's kind of taken over one section of my garden. And I don't want it to do that. So, um, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be, well, maybe... This weekend, I'm going to be tilling up the garden. I'm going to be getting it ready to plant a week after. So I'm going to catch you up with more of that later. Guys, don't forget to wash your hands. Stay safe. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.